uh, but that's a whole different other uh, discussion. I see we are joined now by our guest from uh, Tbilisi. So I will hand it over to you, Alexei. Please introduce me. Hello. Greetings yeah, from Winnipeg. I, I want to introduce Hello. you to each other. It's, uh, it's, it's the moment that I've been waiting for quite a while. As This is uh, Levan Tarknishvili from uh, Tbilisi, Georgia. And this is Stefko Bandera from Winnipeg, Canada. I uh, and uh, you know we got we got this week of protests and it was absolutely amazing to watch this democracy in action, uh, and to some extent Georgia won. Uh, you got this draft law, this this uh, uh, this draft law that was introduced by the Dreamers, uh, that is no longer an issue. But is it a is it a real victory or is it or is it a stalemate, Levan? What do you what do you think? What do you make of it? Uh, uh, hello, uh, I'm glad to join you. Uh, it's a victory, uh, but it's uh, if we compare to the war and battles, we win battle, but we have not win uh, war yet uh, because the people who initiated this uh, law, uh, this draft law, is. Uh, uh, in, in place. They are in parliament, they are uh, in government, and Bidzina Ivanishvili is uh, uh, also here, and he's ruling the country informally without uh, showing, I guess, uh, two years almost. Uh, and, uh, and we have the uh, uh, government who not joining the sanction against Russia, uh, whose program was uh, in uh, back in uh, 2012, and nothing else uh, changed in this direction. That uh, one of uh, their main postulate in uh, their election campaign, uh, when they win the election, was that uh, Georgia should disappear as a uh, battling um, point between Russia and West, and uh, they do not uh, change this uh, this view. So, uh, uh, as as uh, was declared today morning uh, on the meeting. Uh, we win the battle, but we, we uh, did not win the war. So we are continue this student and and everybody understands this parliamentarian understands this politicians understand this civil um, uh, society understand and young people who was the main uh, uh, during these days under this I'm reading uh, before I, I give the floor to to Steph go back uh, just one brief question to to live on. I uh, I'm reading uh, Sova News, the Russian language, but uh, I, I, a pretty solid uh, small uh, media outlet uh, back in Tbilisi, uh, and there was a statement by one of the dreamers, by one of the Bidzini Vanishvili Party um, uh, members of the parliament, uh, who claims. Now I try to translate the title. So um, the member of Georgian Dream, uh, quote unquote. Uh, fighters are coming to Georgia from Ukraine, the fighters that are planning to provoke the civil war. Uh, that's a stance that we've been hearing for quite a while, starting from Salome Zurabishvili uh, effectively being uh, elected president uh, five years ago. Mm, we got this um, attempts by the Georgian dream to blame again you know the foreign influence the foreign invaders it's it looks like Belarus to me it, it looks very much like Lukashenko to me uh, when they're trying to uh, search for Polish or um, some I don't know provocators from the Baltic states but what is behind this statement uh, were there any um, arrests were the Ukrainian community in in Georgia somehow affected after or before this statement by this certain Gia Volsky, uh, this or this MP from uh, Kartulis Otsneba from Georgian Dream. Uh, it, it's uh, very ironic that uh, this statement was made by Gia Volsky, who is well known KGB guy. He 
used to be the uh, Communist Party uh, functioner back to Soviet Union. Uh, as for uh, the Ukrainian uh, community here, as far as I know, uh, nobody yet uh, was arrested or uh, questioned. Uh, and as for the, their participation uh, in uh, uh, the demonstration, there were people, uh, Ukrainian citizens or Ukrainian nationality, there were Russian nationalities, people who joined this action and protested against this, but uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely nonsense uh, that somebody, uh, fighters from Ukraine arrived here and they are going to do, uh, to make some uh, cope or um, uh, civil war initiative, civil war. And it's not new stuff. Uh, uh, I can mention like five or six or even more uh, cases when uh, national movement, opposition, civil uh, society organization or all together or somebody else was blamed uh, to for a cope uh, or initiative of civil war uh, and so on. I uh, it's it's like uh, five or six criminal cases opened uh, by prosecutors office of Georgian in against opposition uh, um, in in uh, in the cases like this and uh, as far as I know they uh, never closed so it's it's nothing new and uh, I would not uh, take it uh, very seriously uh, let, let's say uh, let's put in in this way Because I have a, a personal interest is in that, I, you know, I will try to get to Georgia to do some filming <laughs> in a while. And I'm also, we already sent an inquiry to the office of the president of Georgia, Salomez Rabishvili. Uh, we sent her a few questions. Hopefully she would respond. Uh, of course, I doubt it. Uh, but, you know, we gave it a shot. Uh, the, the thing is that it's when uh, Salome Zorabishvili was elected president, when I first have witnessed, I witnessed for the first time when I, uh, Ukrainians uh, traveling to Georgia from all over the world. I was living in Germany then, and uh, I was the only Ukrainian on board a plane from Munich to, to Georgia, and I was the only one to actually got you know, questioned by the local authorities. And uh, I was uh, I was waiting for more than an hour uh, to actually get a, a chance to enter Sakartuelo. And it was for the first time when I recall that this has ever happened when I, you know, there was some notorious uh, allegations that Ukrainians are planning some plot against, uh, you know, the Georgia and the, the Georgia and the Georgian dream. So funnily, it, it, it's still it's still there and this type of accusations are still on the table yeah <clears throat> this uh, type of accusation is there and I uh, just want to uh, remind you the statement of Georgian dream officials when they blame Aristovich when they blame Ukrainian official high uh, high officials that they wanted to open the uh, second front uh, in Georgia and uh, they uh, go even uh, further and they blame EU, um, United States of America and so on and so far. And it's, it's funny, uh, it's not funny actually, but uh, it's, it's very remarkable that uh, the statement of Georgian dream is echoed by uh, Russian propaganda like uh, uh, Margarita Simonian and um, some others uh, and uh, today there were statements that uh, the fact that we protest the uh, this Russian uh, law and the fact that uh, Georgian Dream was forced to uh, withdraw this law 
can cause the war in, in Georgia. So uh, uh, it's 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 obvious that uh, once more that uh, Georgian dream have very close tie with uh, Russia and with the uh, Russian officials. Uh, thank you, thank you, Levan. Um, uh, Stefko, do you have any questions for uh, Levan Tarnishvili? Well, uh, I'm th thank you for uh, reminding us about uh, Simonyan, who uh, made a comment about uh, using a nuclear weapon on, on Tbilisi, once again reminding us that why the Russians can't have nuclear weapons once this is over and that, uh, well, Moscow has to have that that uh taken away from them that ability to threaten even if it's flippant uh remarks by propagandists like uh like Simonyan. but um uh i'd like to take it a step back because i'm a little confused about uh uh electoral politics in georgia and ask Levan to explain the current president is the last one to be uh directly elected by the people that there's being a transition yes. to a, yeah. a new political system. So the question is, A, uh, can you just explain that? When's the next elections? And then I've seen on social media uh, people uh, celebrating the uh, uh, the fact that this, uh, this law uh, will not be enforced, um, showing that people power, that, you know, the Maidan... Uh, uh, to use the Ukrainian <clears throat> word, uh, has has power uh, in Tbilisi and, and can affect change. Um, so that seemed to be positioned as a victory. So, but when's the next kind of uh, Maidans and wars aside, uh, when's the next uh, chance to affect change in government in uh, in Georgia and in what are the new electoral uh, rules or system in Sakartvelo. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, with president. Uh, yes, uh, according to new constitution and new law, Salom Zurabishvili, uh, right uh, when we are talking, is last uh, president uh, who will uh, elect it directly uh, uh, in uh, uh, two thousand twenty. Five, uh, the new president will be elected by so-called Waters uh, Council. Uh, it's something like uh, the stuff in in Germany. Uh, so uh, this Waters Council is consist of uh, new parliament, which will be elected by uh, fully propor a proportional system in. Uh, 2024, so like after one year and a half. Uh, so this new parliament uh, plus the representative of Achara Supreme Cause, uh, Council and representative of local councils uh, will elect the new president. Uh, but the main uh, election, of course, will be after uh, one and a half year. Uh, which will be the uh, election to the uh, parliament, and as I, as I said, uh, the according to law, it will be full proportional uh, election with a threshold of five percent. Uh, so, uh, if we are speaking about changing of government by election, so uh, it will be after one and a half year. Uh, but uh, of course, there can be the, some. A new political uh, crisis in Georgia, and what is remarkable and what is um, important uh, lesson from this uh, three days of protest that first of all, uh, and I uh, told it to Alexei yesterday that first of all, it uh, the young generation one was very active, students were were very active. And also, they see their power, and they see that uh, it's some, sometimes able to uh, to respond uh, 
uh, to the road police and to the uh, violation of their right. Right. So um, uh, as I said, uh, these stages is finished, but it does not mean that new stages will not open. Uh, we uh, have. We will have. Uh, we can have another crisis political crisis when uh, Georgian mm, will not receive if they uh, if we will not receive the status of candidate of uh, in European con uh, European Union uh, which uh, the decisions should be made during the uh, rest of this year so this can cause the another uh, demonstration so uh, the changes can happen sooner than uh, election is uh, um, uh, planned, but if we are speaking about elections, uh, uh, planned election, it will be after one and a half year. Uh, thank, thank you, Livan. Thank you so much uh, for your contribution. Uh, we'll definitely get back to this conversation uh, next week, because uh, uh, from what I see and from what I hear, 